Hello, welcome, colleagues. Question. Okay. Well, we want to deal with um, 2023 October uh, exam. Or oh, just uh, a few questions. Okay, I think we'll deal with the first five questions. Okay. So please join us today for the first one. We'll be glad to help you. I must be mentioned that um, registration for the 2024G sessions have okay, so we us to make sure you're not left behind. And uh, this lesson is very effective. We do live lessons. Yeah. All right, so getting that starts in those numbers. All right, so this is uh, 2023, so this is on the 8th of November. Okay, and that's the part one, as you can see. 4.4 slash 1. Number of marks is always uh, 80, then the time is 12 hours. Okay, so let's see all the questions. Let's put that back. Evaluate. Evaluate. Um, evaluate. Um, eight. Okay. Eight divided by twenty seven is the power one over 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 three. Let me just adjust. So we have this divided by 27, uh, 1 over 3. There are a lot of ways of doing this. So this denominator tells you that the table to raise a certain number to power 3, so it's big. Right? So one number can be power 3. So it's two. Raised to the power of three and okay. Divided by one number can you raise to power three? Second last thing. Okay. Uh, if you want, you can even get three. Okay, so we have one divided by three. So this is the same as two to the power three times one um times one over three divided by three to the power three times one over three the power like that so that this three and that one will cancel two divided by um this and that will cancel. So this is the answer, okay? Two over three. Or, alternatively, you can say uh, eight divided by 27 is the power one over fraction has an implication. So the numerator is a continuous power, the denominator is root. So we can find the cube root, cube root of eight. Divided by 27, continue with 1, the same as finding the cube root of 8 is 3, the cube root of 8 is 2 rather, the cube root of 27, the number can multiply itself to times 27, 
and that's still took over as your concept, right? Okay, so we want to factorize. So when you want to factorize, you need to think of the four methods of factorization. That is common factor, terms, terms of two squares, and the quadratic expression. So in this case, we can check if at all we have a common factor. If there's three here and three, it means we pick three. X to the power three and X, so we can also pick this as a common factor. So we are going to divide three to the power three divided by three, and this one will divide X into X to the power three squared. So we have got X by X by X divided by X. So this X and that cancel, we have got X which is X squared. So that is fine. Then we have that is going to say that x divided by k which x and this to cancel and it's negative. Um three into twenty seven that's nine. Okay, good. So even the math for for that. Then we must check. Over three eggs, there's a difference, and we only have two terms. One of the terms is to power two. So what that means is that x to the power two is check if at all this number we have replaced some number to power two and still take that. The number is two. But two is two, right? That to factorize that, we we'll have minus 3, x plus 6, and the answer. In an exam, you would write your answer like this x minus 3, x plus 6. That's fine. Okay, please. Don't forget to contact us. You can also subscribe to this channel with a video. Let's proceed. Okay. We want to simplify. So we can maintain the two a by negative five being multiplied with whatever is in the bracket. So of um, negative five b times A, okay? So I have negative five A or AB. Negative five AB, okay? Then you multiply that with five B times negative B. A negative number by negative number is positive number. Five, Plus five, right? Plus five squared. All right. So now we can say plus a b. We check for for the terms, like terms. So we have two a. Minus 5ab plus ab plus 5b squared. So you can see that these are like terms. So negative 5ab plus ab is the same as 1. All right? So you can fix this. Keep this. You can just do with negative 5 plus 1. The coefficient. Then you get b. So negative five one 
that is negative four. I think there is a of a b. So apply that we have two a minus four a plus five b squared. Do you have any life term? No, we can even get a. Right? That's it. That's it. Uh, the point A is negative five comma three, and the point B so B is unknown. It is x comma y, right? Have the midpoint of four comma negative two. Question therefore is what's the value of Let's find the coordinates of okay. So you know that find the midpoint. You need to recall the definition of a midpoint. So midpoint of A B is equal to H1 plus H2 divided by 2, comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2. These are just notations. And use another expression, right? Meaning that the first part here it represents the midpoint of x, and you can see that this is x, right? Meaning that the midpoint of x is four. If we say this is one and this is two, it simply means that. If we want to find H2, which is part of the coordinates of B, I'm going to say H1 plus H2 divided by 2 has to be equal to the midpoint, which is 4, because midpoint of X is 4. This is implying that what is our X1 divided by 5 from here? Plus x2 added by 2, the answer is 4. So the one, then you cross multiply. So negative 5 plus x2 is equal to x. Right? Multiply 2 by 4 again. Imply that x2 is equal to x plus 5. Right? H2 times 13. Okay, that is H2. Then we find Y2. And then Y1 plus Y2 divided by 2, the answer must be equal to, from the definition of this point, the answer must be equal to negative 2. What is our Y1? Um, Is one so our y1 is here is three plus our y divided by divided by two as we got negative two we can do dummy one so we have three plus y2 equal negative so, is to apply here. 34 minus 3. So, y2 is equal to 37. Therefore, coordinates of B are uh, so B, I would say 3, comma, negative. How about this fine? Yeah, that is how we did that. That's how from the definition of a midpoint. From the definition of a midpoint. How about this fine? Okay. 
Let's look at the first one. Given that OP is standard uh, uh, as post rating, then the point Q is that. So this point Q, same as OQ, right? That is a position vector. So you can write it as Okay. Um, so let me have all right. So the ones Q, the magnitude of PQ. If you look at it, you know, there are a lot of ways of doing this. It can be found by PO plus plus OQ. Right? That's, that's how you can get it. So start with end with Q. So PO plus OQ. So PQ um our PO, this is OP. So our PO is negative because this is PO and this is OP, the opposite. So we have got it negative. So it will be negative four, negative 15. Plus our OQ in and the so this will give us when you when you add. Negative four plus fifteen, negative fifteen plus plus uh, eight. Okay. Negative four. Five. What we have. Okay. So meaning that. This magnitude will be equal to, we we'll square it, we we'll find the root. Okay? It will be 4 squared plus 5 squared. So this will give us 144 plus 25. So the root of one put down put the four plus twenty five is one sixty nine, and this gives you fifteen million. All right. Oh, you can still use another method. Or you can say. PQ, the magnitude of PQ is equal to x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1. Okay. All right. In this case, OP, OP represents a point 4, 15. And we have Q here, which is 15, 8. So you can let this be one and this be two, right? Meaning that the magnitude of this vector will be equal to 15 minus four squared plus eight minus 15 squared. Another way of doing it. So PQ, is equal to 4 squared plus 35 squared. So, magnitude of this vector PQ will be equal to 144 
plus 25. And this gives you a total of 169, which is 18 units. And you're done. And you are done. So please, that is how we do our lesson. We do live lessons. We are able to, to follow. We do the regulations together, write the notes together, the conditions together. We are able to address them and then don't do the code for our live lessons. All right, so please join us today. Join our DC lessons, the 12 lessons, the 9 lessons for mathematics. All right? And mathematics, even though that are uh, welcome. Okay, this will be Mr. Pimito next time. Bye bye.